here we are with episode four of the may in gold and yeah last episode we met the student council and at least chris is a bitch <laughs> um because she beat up rex because he got beaten up by uh, alto and the may and then alto and the may or alto challenged chris to a duel and that's where we left off with a cliffhanger so i guess we get the conclusion this episode and so yeah if you like what you see or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or a comment i would really appreciate it and it would really help me but yeah let's get to the episode yep they do okay we start right here i mean you like i said last episode she also does like a lot of spells with her pew pew so she also casts a lot i would say but I don't know how this magic system works in this, in this anime. They, she jumps on the ice, for crystals. God damn! <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. The May strong. What the hell? God damn! Dude, this was crazy animation wise that looked crazy <laughs> he looked like some uber badass assassin or some shit coming like in oh! witness me <laughs> and now he's popular look at all the cute little familiars and she gets jellies jellies and this familiar too Who is this? Oh, I think, yeah, we saw him, I think. We talked about the seals. I, I guess... Well, isn't this how it works? <laughs> Don't do it on a whim. He didn't do it on a whim. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just want to say it. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? Face? <laughs> You are my type, no one else. How dare you imply anything else? And she's cleaning? <laughs> oh, is this what he wanted from her to apologize? He's like, what the fuck? She apologized? This is interesting that he's coming back now and that she doesn't seem like a complete bitch anymore. This is very interesting, like completely different from like character wise. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Getting that sweet, sweet manner. And she's naked, of course. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, give her some honey. <laughs> give her some rewards. She deserved it. Do it. I mean, maybe she does. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hello. <laughs> This lucky little bastard. All night long. To taste something else? Let's go! It's the sweet mana juice that lets us sparkle so much. Question Can you be in a relationship with your familiar, technically? Or is that like something forbidden? I mean, I guess you can't be in a relationship with like a beetle or a chicken or a rabbit or some shit. But I mean, like with. Something like her? Like more humanoid? Is that possible? Oh yeah, he asked him. Oh. But it's just folklore. I guess she could be one, right? I mean, she has a tail, she has a horn. He is like, awesome! <laughs> Uh, I mean, true. I guess it's like really hard to figure out how demons or succubus work, what their intent, like real intentions are and stuff. 
I mean, I guess you could just ask her. Do you just love me for my mana? <laughs> Don't take my food. <laughs> Here he goes. Here he goes. But she's like, nah. Or maybe she's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> nah, no, she's like, nah. That's not it. I like you. Oh. I mean, who would do this if you if she just wants mana, right? Mana, right? I mean, it's obvious that it's not the case, right? Because she's so caring for him and does all of this stuff. Because of the professor. <clears throat> and he has plenty and potent juice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, god damn it, dude. <laughs> right? Just enjoy your time. Yeah, right. Show, 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 some, show some affection to her, too. Do it. Do it. I can't today. <laughs> then tomorrow. <laughs> no, he's sparkling and she's sparkling. I wonder if he knows maybe more than he lets on. Maybe he already knows that. I could imagine that Professor Obsidian is maybe... Maybe he knows more than he lets on. Oh, so he's a douche. So maybe he does know more than he lets on, but he's also a douche. So she is now frozen. So he did something to her. Still alive, so she's not dead, she's in a coma. Not again? The fourth this year? So he does experiments on m many or more. Five people to break the door down. So maybe it's like something that enhances the magical powers of someone. And then it just enhances it and goes crazy. And what are you gonna do about it? The president. Or the white haired girl, okay? Of course. So we do nothing. Oh, the death stare. <laughs> yeah, you have to investigate, dude. I don't like this guy. He seems also like a douche. Oh, goddammit, dude. That body, dude. <laughs> Every day to see if I get a big taller. He has to write a report about her. The main features big anime Uber. God damn it. Okay, write a report. Height and weight. Features, daily activities, and the favorite foods. Sweet, juicy manna from me. As much depth as possible, and she's happy about it. <laughs> this lucky bastard. He can measure her. She gets undressed. Yeah. <laughs> the measurement has to be accurate. So clothes falsified. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. This lucky bastard. Oh. She's spying on him. <laughs> and why is she here? <laughs> Some sign language. Naruhodo. Nani. Conniving whore. <laughs> she wants to go for the invisibility potion again. She made a copy key? 
And then she goes into his room and like right about then the potion wears off and she's naked again. <laughs> Mm. Oh god damn it dude <sighs> oh, She loves it She likes to tease him <laughs> Yep very stealth No one sees that when suddenly the door opens that far Oh perfect timing dude <laughs> <laughs> of course, perfect timing. This seems now. Is she get? Is she, is she getting suspicious? Like, what are they talking about? Oh, she could have gone for the kiss. <laughs> that close. I mean, then he would realize that there's something. <laughs> Did he really touch her? Shouldn't he feel something? Or can he go through her with this potion? Yeah. I mean, that's definitely an accomplishment. But it took a lot out of, out of them to fight her. Yeah, she just did her pew pew finger guns the whole time, right? So I guess that didn't took much out of her, I would guess. God damn it, dude. God damn it, dude! Oh my god. Sweets. Some juicy honey mana from him. Mmm. The favorite sweets. Did this really, like, made her happy that he said that with her he never wants to taste defeat? What did she write? Sweets? And Alto. <laughs> Oh, who beat her up? B Rex. So he's the next experiment. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Okay, this was episode four, and I would say this was a really good and interesting episode. There was a lot of stuff going on. First of all, we picked off where the last episode ended with the fight, with the duel, and we actually won. I didn't thought that would happen. I mean, yeah, they had a trump card, it seems like, but I didn't thought it would be enough. Um, but it turns out it was enough. And then we go over to more bonding between Vermei and Alto, which I always love to see. <laughs> this lucky bastard. And yeah, he's... He asked this professor, Professor Obsidian, if a demon and a human can fall in love. And the professor was a bit vague about it. He's like, yeah, it can be, it can happen. But uh, yeah, it might also be because that the demon just wants the mana, right? So it's like hard to understand really if what the intentions are. And then Alto confronted Vermeer about it. And Vermeer is like, turned out that obviously she is not just after his mana. Um, because he asked her, are you just here because you want my banner? Um, but I mean, she just does all this teasing with him and presses him against her booba and all that stuff. Um, and I would say if she just was after his manner, she wouldn't do that stuff. She would just care to get the manner and that's it, ne? right? But she does all this wholesome stuff, which I, which I think makes clear that she's not just after his manner. And then we saw that the professor that he asked about the demon, like, human demon relationship stuff that the professor is a douche he's not as nice as he, as he seemed at first because he does experiments on students which seems like he puts some stuff with a syringe in them and that amplifies the magic abilities and makes them go completely crazy and so so far in this year four students already are in a coma because of it so they don't die they fall into coma and the next um victim was basically rex from what it seems like because before, in the middle of the episode, he and Chris seem to be making up. Like, it seems like suddenly Chris is not as a big bitch as in the previous episode. So this episode, so she was kind of nice and talked with the Rex and all. And that seems like they understand each other and made up again. And at the end of the episode, suddenly Chris gets beaten by Rex. And before it was the other way around. Chris beat Rex like nothing. And now it's around and... um. Chris seems like, yeah, he seems, I guess he is like the next victim and got experimented on. And that's why he's crazy strong now and is like, not like 
of clear mind basically and before that like the second scene before the end um we had alto and the may doing some report because the students have to be have to make reports of the familiar they have and yeah he had to take like body measures and had to write down what she likes and all that stuff and it was again a very funny and wholesome scene i would say <laughs> and um Lilia, I think is her name. She's like spying on him because she is like wor uh, wary of the May and spies on him and then takes another invisibility potion and sneaks him in, in naked again, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, and it seems like Alto touched her while she was invisible, but she, but Alto didn't realize anything. So maybe he can pass through her body while she's invisible or not. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But from her reaction, it seems like she he actually touched her or just like the thought that he might have touched her already was enough i don't know um but yeah interesting episode funny episode wholesome episode i can't wait to see where it's going with this whole professor doing the shady uh, experiments on the students stuff and i can't wait to see more wholesomeness of the may and alto but yeah, if you like what you saw or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or a comment i would really appreciate it and it would really help me but yeah thanks for watching until next time Bye bye